Freebie Outdoors brought to you by our premier sponsor, Spot Hog, maker of the world's toughest archery products. Man, on today's show, we've got something totally off the wall, something different, something unique. It's wild, it's crazy, it's adventurous. It may even be considered dangerous. I'm taking a two-hour, one-way road trip just to meet up with Art Defoe and Brandon Coulter, two full-time touring professional anglers. We're going to the edge of the universe. We're going on a public lake with very limited access, and we're going to put these aluminum boats in the lake with our four-wheel drive truck on a, a ramp that the owner even refers to as a runaway truck ramp. It's basically no concrete, no pavement. We're dropping them off the side of a mountain into the water. Well, once we survive that, the fishing is out of this world. We're going to go crappy fishing and bass fishing. I'm Nathan Light, and welcome to 3B Outdoors. Well, it looks like Blackwater and uh, Blackwater, Blackwater Resort. Hard, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Blackwater Resort, and it's going to be an adventure to get these boats in the water to go try to catch a try to catch a fish. If we get them in the water, the the hard part will be over. Won't it? Oh, absolutely. If we once we hit once we hit the water, the hard part's over. We just hope this the right is, sides up. This ain't no ramp; it's a runaway truck ramp. <laughs> 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 Definitely don't want to try this at home, kid. I've got two uh, world-class anglers with me in the boat today, and this so happens to be <laughs> this so happens to be an Ott's boat, and we've got Ott Defoe, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro on the left. Everybody knows him, and everybody knows Brandon Coulter, FLW Tour and Pro on the right. Now, this is a little far stretch from the high-powered <laughs> tournament world, wouldn't you say so? Uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Now, today's adventure, we talked a lot about how to call it and what title. I'll be the first to tell you, I'm lost. This is Lost Lake as far as I'm concerned. I'm waiting to hear the banjo picking any time. <laughs> so give me a little rundown. Right, what do you think? What are we in for, man? Dude, I ain't got a clue. I'm, I'm with you, Nathan. I'm as, I'm as lost as you are at this point. Brandon has, has been to wherever it is we are before. <laughs> And so he's pretty much our guide. I think it's a. I think we're following a lost leader, actually. <laughs> I've, uh, I've slid down the mountain once before, and I'm just here to tell you this lake is infested with crappie, and it's got plenty of smallmouth and largemouth in it too. So I think we're in for a smorgasbord. So we're we going to have um, cutthroat tournament style stuff, or are we just going to fish and just show whatever happens? It depends on who's leading. If I'm leading, it's cutthroat tournament style. If not. It, we're just having a fun day. There you go. All right. I, I don't know what's going on, but we're in. Here we go. Let's go catch some Let's fish, guys. It. We're going down to the lower end of 
start off with we got a roundup running about 49. And I'm glad that's all it'll do because I'm freezing. Brandon, let's see how it's done. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Double right off the bat. <laughs> it didn't take long, did it? Y'all, y'all better be glad I ain't even got rigged in the water yet. We mine bigger. I, I, I know I'd have got too. a bigger one. So yeah, it's a good thing. Ot, as long as Ot's not in the. You guys want to keep some, don't you? Yeah, you, you got that right. You want Absolutely. Keep Ten inches or nine. You want to look we, at them. We'll yeah. Decide. We want fish. We, we want Brandon's right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep his for that. <laughs> <laughs> I did too, mine knocked slack in it. He didn't get it. He got it that time. <laughs> Fish number two. <laughs> Double. <laughs> Golly, I gotta get my bait in the water. Where's all that? Uh, got to get my bait in the water, guys. I'm gonna keep it. Nope. Y'all ain't even being nice. Where's all that? Where's all that? <laughs> Come on now. Give me some scissors. Stop fishing. <laughs> Y'all stop fishing. Wait a minute. Hold up. Man, this is this is really fun. You know, I wish Art could get in on it. You know. <laughs> uh, that would be I think nice being a professional you. like that, he'd be he'd be ready. Prepared. Yeah. Well, I wonder what, oh, this is spinning around anything. Oh, this feels like he's got a little bit. I believe this is a good in here, boys. Oh, you got a bite. You got a junky old bite. No, I believe it's a crumb. Bluegill. Big oh, old bluegill. No wonder he fought. Big old bluegill. I'm telling you. That's a Look at that. <laughs> I thought he had a little more shake in it, though. Uh, I thought he had a little small mouth. He'll eat two on him, Brandon. No, you don't eat them? Got him. Uh oh. I'm hooked up. I was getting bit like every time I pick it up <laughs> when, we, when we hit it. Finally got one to eat it. Just a little top. That right there, those th things you're seeing on the screen, that's what they are. We're wanting the ones that are hair bigger, but that's what they are. We have, uh, our, our, so far our bass pattern has become sidetracked by, <laughs> uh oh, is that a keeper? That one's got a little more head shake in I don't know. He just likes to shake. Well, yeah, I think he's he'll go. Think he'll make it? He says no. We're going to catch so many of these today, guys. <laughs> we'll look for the bigger ones at the start. All right. Yeah, the uh, the bass fishing pattern has a... Uh, oh, I just missed another one. The bass fishing pattern went out the door, <laughs> it, the it window, has, it has before the, we got started. Basically, about before we got started, yeah. This portion of 3B Outdoors brought to you by Powell Clark State Farm Insurance. Get to a better state. Cornerstone Concrete Technologies. Your concrete is our canvas. Lawrence HDS Gen 2, the fastest HDS ever. Kistler Rods, field tested and used by the pros. Nelson Outfitters, outfitting in Wyoming or Montana for trophy muleys, whitetails, elk, antelope, black bear, and mountain lion. Matthews, catch us if you can. Hunting is a tradition that has been in our family for decades. We started this business several years ago with one goal, to get people into the sport that we are so passionate about. Conkeys has everything you need before you hit the woods. Look into our Garmin Astro tracking collars, along with dozens of accessories and custom-built antennas to give you the edge while dog hunting. Check out our custom dog boxes, each uniquely designed to fit your needs. Don't be left in the dark. The Boss Slide is another great product, which can be found on our website. So check us out online at conkeysoutdoors.com. Welcome to the family. So you've worked hard. You've got that property that you've always dreamed of, and you've built that home that you've always dreamed of. There's just a little touch missing. You need a fence, something to accent the property and secure your livestock. You don't want just any fence. You want the best fence available. Call Brown's Custom Fencing, 423-235-7400 or 1-800-249-6274. That's Brown's Custom Fencing. We're asking people, why do you like Waffle House? You know what I really like best about a Waffle House? 
I can stop by here anytime, day or night, that I've been fishing and get good breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It doesn't matter what time I leave in the morning or what time I get done in the evening, I can come to a Waffle House. You know what I really like about it? When I end up in the doghouse, I can always come to the Waffle House and get something to eat. <laughs> These two guys both just caught a crappie. I throw over and get hung trying to make it the man in the middle catching one. And I get hung and break leader and all off. I gotta sit down and redo it all again. What's wrong with this picture? I Dude, don't see a problem. Brandon, do you see a problem? I don't see any problem at all. Uh, I bet you don't. We've got him in the bottom of the boat. They're still biting. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm just letting you know they're biting. Uh, what, what is this picture? Let's see. Oh, what are you doing? These, what, are you, what are you doing, Art? <laughs> I'm, I'm Is that your fish, Brandon? Yeah, but I won't let off. What are you uh, doing? Are you are you I'm fishing? Catching, you're catching? That's your fish? They're I can, catching. I can make a cast around the dock without getting hung up. And I, I throw over there and get hung. So we got off in the box. Break it, break it off. So yeah, I, I'm just the fish boy right now. <laughs> <laughs> this one might go in the box. Oh yeah, that goes in the box, sir. Right? Here, I'll put that one in the box. <laughs> there we go. Uh, do you have to do this on trail? No, I, that's why we're the only fishermen in the boat. We have marshals. We don't have anybody else. Brent, if I wasn't going to eat him, I'd throw him back just because you caught it. Brent, hand me them scissors. Take a break. <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> Time out. He's hollering for help. <laughs> These guys have been mean to me. I've been been hung up, broke off, everything. Trying to get back in the water. have been here for a minute. we got half dozen or so. Nice I have one. It was got a keeper. For some reason, my my light my bait quit sinking. Is that the new technique of the day? That's the new technique. Just let just leave it. Just, Throw it and leave it. Just let set run the camera. It's it's also known as Florida fishing. I think I'll keep him. You think that's a keeper? I believe it. Look. No more casting when I'm getting in. I'm keeping him. You know what right. I see a little different out of you two guys already? What's that? A smile. <laughs> How can you not smile? I've got Brandon's fish. I'm holding Nathan's fish. And Which my one's mine? Fish. This one. My, well, no, 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 this one's yours. It's a little thing. It's crazy. It is. This is crazy. And we've been here how long? 15 minutes? 15 and minutes. And already got a live well full. And most of the time, what was you talking about a minute ago? Most of the time, you think these crappy are around stuff. They're just out here swimming around, yeah. suspended. Yeah, I mean, I, this lake is it's incredible. Brandon was actually right. <laughs> Brandon, I mean, it is. So we have to give you credit, though. Brandon's story. Oh, well, are you back in action? I'm back in action, baby. Yeah. I'm fishing again. We're going to have to break you off and let you retire. about uh, this. Ain't no way. I will, I'll knock you over the head and steal your rock. All right. Well, now, wait a minute. I want to get it on film. Brag <laughs> on Brandon one more time. Now, wait, let me get up close and personal. Tell him. Tell us the good news. Now, there's one thing about it. Brandon was telling no lie. This place has more crappie in it than anywhere I've ever seen. It's This is awesome. It's insane. It's insane. It is. What's the response of what Ot just said about you being right? I mean, is that unusual? Evidently it is. I didn't think my stories were that tall, but evidently, <laughs> <laughs> evidently they tend to be. So well. This one panned out. So you've redeemed yourself? I tell you now, I, I had no doubt, see. I believe I have. Look at that. <laughs> it's awesome. We probably caught. 30 or 40 already, and yeah. it's every cast. Well, as you can see, the crappy fishing is off the chain, but there's been a team decision made, and we're going bass fishing. What have you done, all right? I picked up a crankbait in my second cast. I've got one. I don't know what he is yet. Oh, man. Oh, that's a man. Good one. That's a big old green fish. That's a, it is. It's a nice large mouth. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Second cast with a crankbait. We've been crappy fishing all morning, and, uh, I said, man, I gotta, I gotta throw a crankbait right here down this little rocky bank, and that is a nice, pretty, I mean, a fat largemouth, buddy. I'm telling you, he liked that DT7 for sure. Dude, that is a chunk. That thing is pretty. Beautiful. Boys, y'all want to do some bass fishing? Man, that was a good one. Second cast, caught a good largemouth. Let's catch some bass. I believe I got me a, I believe I got me a large one. Yeah. Another good fish. Now you called it too, didn't you? <laughs> he, did, he did call I it. Did. He did. I said, let's go where they live, and they finally listened to me. Did I let you have a crankbait? Does that? He let me have a crankbait. Man. Good fish. So we, we 
We're, we're multi-dimensional. We're not, we're not just pure old crappy fishermen, right? That's right. Still looking for the elusive brown fish. Right. <laughs> I believe it'll come before the day that you know. All right, good job, man. Keep us on. Have you struck again? I've got me one. Still another long mouth, though. Still looking for the elusive smallmouth? Yep. We're going to find it for the days that I know we will. Did he not leave? He left one. Not a bad one. Not a bad there one. we go. Yeah. We'll be right back after the break. 3B Outdoors, sponsored in part by Canaan, Ultimate UV Protection and Unmatched Clarity, Tenzing, Outdoor Gear. Legends live over the next ridge. Luminoff, lighted arrow knot. Rage, slip cam broadhead. Watson airlock. Phil Logic, Glendale full rut. Plano tackle systems. Mycroft Media and Express Signs, national large format printing projects and fast local needs. Big Dog Muzzleloader by Performance Gunworks. We've hunted all year and haven't seen anything. Maybe we just need to relocate. Hey, I just contacted Mark Slagle and his agents down at Twin Lakes Realty and Auction there in Dandridge. Man, they was honest, shot me straight, and their customer service was wonderful. That's just a short drive to Pigeon Fords. If you'd like to relocate to the Dandridge area, contact Twin Lakes Realty and Auction at markwslagle.com. Or you could just give him a call at 865-397-3540. Traveling down the road in search of bucks, bass, and beards? gives me plenty of time to reflect on the important things of life. Hello, I'm John Walls with Retirement Solutions in Knoxville. If you want peace of mind, safety of principle, growth potential, security, and lifetime guarantees, give us a call. Our reward is helping people secure their financial future and live their dreams with a passion for service second to none. Visit our website or give us a call at 865-247-OK. That's 247-6529. Hey, I'm Freddie Neely from 3B Outdoors. For the last seven years, I've shot a spot hog sight. It's the most durable, dependable, rugged sight that I've ever come in contact with. After several states and several critters later, I'm still greedy. So if you want to get greedy, go give Josh Johnson from Spot Hog a call. Tell him 3B Outdoor Boys sent you. Or better yet, go to spothog.com and order all their products. You're watching 3B Outdoors. What you got, Brandon? Is that a small mouth? Oh, it's a great big large. Is it? Bring him back here and I'll help. Holy cow. My stars. I don't know whether I want to help you or not. <laughs> He's got a mouth full. Look at that. Man, you what a toad, don't you? That's a good enough, don't wow. you? That tops the day off, don't it? That's what happens when a hot the foe gets hung up. Well, <laughs> we've got you actually get a cat. We've got him on the bank over here. Now he's on the camera. Yep, yeah, I'm running the camera now. So, that dude, that's a, that's a beautiful fish right there. That is awesome. Let's get the camera out and take a steel shot or two. What a day. Stay on the water. Don't um, be in bass. What a day. It's awesome. Brandon took advantage of me right there and caught that big one. You know, that's what pros do. They use every advantage they can get. It is a bass. We got one. A bass is a bass mouth. is a bass. Yet another large mouth. No small mouth yet. Well, them things, that dark water, man, they're so pretty. I believe that's bigger than Brandon's. Oh, I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I swear I believe that's bigger than Brandon's. No doubt about it. Photoshop. Oh, I thought I got bit, but I was just banging on. We Photoshop it, make it look bigger. Yep. That's a, another thing. Look at hey, here. Look at hey. Here. 
here. Look at here. Even the hose can Even catch the hose can catch one. Look at that. And it's not a small mouth either. No. That's a pretty decent one. Look at that. There's some lemon down through here. Yeah. That's not too bad. I mean, look how big that thing is. I'm <laughs> telling you, boys. Pretty. This water, everything looks good. You just can't beat it, boys. What a trip, what a day. Yep. It has been some kind of fun. I had I had to come to the end of the Lost Lake just to see see what it'd look like. I mean, it sure would be a good place to catch one. You don't so. think we can get any further? <clears throat> well, if we didn't make it much further, we wouldn't have a lot left by the time we got done. <laughs> <laughs> boys will be boys. When competition is in your blood, a normal everyday occurrence can become a huge challenge. I'm calling this one casting for hornets. All right, we have a new competition. <laughs> Who can get the hornet's nest with a crankbait? We ain't either one doing very good. Lost Lake, we've lost our mind. I've got a limb, but not the right one. One challenge of the day. <laughs> Who can get the hornet's nest with a crankbait? The wind is adding a degree of difficulty. Oh, oh I broke it. Broke it. I cut it in half with my line. <laughs> Whoa. I got her. That was the ultimate competition. <laughs> <laughs> who, who can get the hornet's nest first? Sacrifice three wiggle warts, but we got <laughs> That right there, that's a little school. There's a bunch more that's already run off the screen, but that's a school of crappie right there. It's getting close to the end of the day, and uh, we're getting, getting real close to our limits. We've got about 50 in there right now. I need to go cap it off with about 10 biggies. It'll be the end of a great day. I've never seen a place like this. So you're still saying, Brandon, you know, we, you think he produced this time? Uh-uh, I, I do. I think Brandon, I think he showed us something that was worthwhile. We might have to buy him a hamburger or something. <laughs> huh? I mean, it's crazy. How many of these have we caught now? We, we quit, we bass fished as long as we have crappie fish, but I mean, I, 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 how many I would you say seriously, between the three of us? Over a hundred and it's noon. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, and like you say, we've bass fished as long as we've crappie fished. We're only one peanut butter sandwich at the end of the day and we've already <laughs> caught a hundred. Yep. All right. <coughs> so what do you think, Nathan? You think we're gonna go, go back to much bass fishing or what's it looking like? I tell you what, boys, I mean, it's, it's one of them deals where if you want to catch fish, I mean, do we want to catch fish or do we just want to fish? Right, <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, as we speak, <laughs> that's another one. And if that's one of them big old bluegill, I want you to see that thing, but I don't think it is. It might be. No, that's another, another crappy. And I mean, that was live. I mean, that's in the same conversation. Yep. This is not the same fish, but the same conversation. <laughs> It is just insane how many are here. I mean, Plenty of them. They're pretty too. Public lake. It's not so public a place to get to. <laughs> <laughs> Today's show might have been more educational than you realize. You can tell we were catching two distinct styles of crappy. Ott named them analog and digital. Let's listen in as Dr. Ott gives us a genetics class on how to tell the difference in an analog and digital crappy. Let's see, like this one right here would be a analog. You can see the vertical bars on him, how he's real white sided. <coughs> and that one would be a digital. You see how it's got the real square blocky looking blocks on the side and it's a little bit darker. So that's, that's the two kind of crappies we've been catching this well, day. I've got one here. We'll see what kind this is. You might be able to explain it live. Is this some... What you got? You got a you got a digital. That's a digital? Yep. You're living in a digital world. Non-keeper digital. Yep. Pretty. They're pretty. They're, they are pretty. Man, oh man. 
And that's probably 110. <laughs> At least. <laughs> so we've caught largemouth. Yep. Digital and analog crop. <laughs> and now bluegill blue blue and yellow perch. Yep. Well, only on 3B outdoors. That's right. Man, we appreciate y'all coming out and watching us today. You know, we've been out here on Lost Lake, but it's been a lot of fun. We've caught some good fish, caught a lot of crappie. Brandon caught a real nice bass, so I think that's it for this episode, but man, we appreciate you coming out. <laughs> here we go. Let the fun begin. thing about crappie fishing, once the fishing is over, the work begins. <laughs> the work begins. Because now you got a whole bunch of fish you got to deal with. You think Jenny's going to clean them? <laughs> I got a lot better shot of Abby helping clean them than I do Jenny. So. Jenny will probably clean by as many as Donna will. Yep, yep. And now Donna likes to eat them though. We'll probably get to go again. Yep, yeah. I'll, Abby will, they'll, they'll both eat the heck out of them. Well, if nothing else, hopefully we answered a couple of questions for you. Number one, how much risk will bass fishermen take just to catch fish? Well, today it wasn't all about the bass, but we took a lot of risks just sliding those boats off the side of the mountain just to get them in the water. And then secondly, people ask me, what do professional bass fishermen do when they have fun? Well, Ott and Brandon demonstrated today, they're just like the rest of us. They like to go fishing, and we had a blast. I thank them from the bottom of my heart for spending time with us on 3B Outdoors. Now next week, Freddie knows hunting guys, I promise you, are going to shoot at, well, they might even hit a big old deer or two, maybe even a big old gobbler. Don't miss it. Once again, I'm Nathan White, and this 3B Outdoors, and we always bring you quality hunting and fishing.